Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this attention-grabbing video. Okay, so first of all, I want to mention that a couple of the assets used can be purchased for a few credits, or are included in your All Access Pass. So the first thing I did was grab a video uh, from Pexels, so we're going to place that here. And make sure that it's expanded, and it's a little bit long, so let's uh, let's reduce that down here, maybe to about uh, eight seconds. Okay, we're going to lock that in place for now. Then we're going to go into the studio to the scroll stoppers and go to UI, which is user interface, and I chose the standard headline right here. We're going to bring that in here. Okay, now that's a little bit large, so I'm going to just zoom in on that. Okay, and let's ungroup this and unlock that one. Good. Okay, let's grab that again. And I'm going to make that a bit smaller here to fit the middle. And let's, uh, let's fit the screen here so we can see everything at once. Great. Okay, one thing I always like to do beforehand also is to make sure that the snapping on the canvas is on. Again, we can highlight that and grab it, and let's center that right about there. Perfect. Now, where it says Replace Media, I already downloaded also, just to show you here, a picture of a dolphin. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to take this, replace, and replace that with a dolphin. Now, it's a little bit low, so I'm going to just bring that up. Now, if you recall also, if you press the Shift key, you can slide along the vertical or along the horizontal without it moving up and down and uh, in the other direction. Okay, so let's just bring that up, uh, let's say to about that, so it looks fairly centered. Good. Okay, the next step we're going to do is go back into Studio and to Scroll Stoppers and let's look for a couple of effects here. Uh, so the one that I downloaded, there's two here, one is the uh, fish, so let's grab that one. Okay, and let's see that just that size. Let's uh, let's bring everything here down to match the fish here. I know we can do this all at once, but that's easy just to do it like that. That's fine. Okay, we'll unlock that one and again make these nice and even. Perfect. And lock that again. Okay, so we're going to take the fish now and reduce it in size to match the size of where the dolphin is. Okay, I'll bring that up something like that. Okay, maybe we'll squish that down a little bit, see how that looks. And we'll just bring that underneath the dolphin and the headline there. So we're going to bring this down uh, to there. Okay, that looks good. Now, if you want to get this exact, you can really zoom in here. And you can see, for example, where the dolphin is, which is right there. And we can just expand that out right to the edge. Same thing with the fish. We can expand that right out to the edge so it looks a little bit neater. Okay, you can do that on the other side as well. Control zero will bring us back here. Great. So now when it's playing, that looks pretty good so far. Okay, so we're going to start off uh, zoomed in on the dolphin and then bring the shark in. So let's just bring the shark in right now. Let's just do it right here. We're going to go again to the uh, scroll stop for effects and bring that shark in. And he will come in like, there he is. Okay, it's centered nicely, so let's leave him there. And I'm just going to reduce, again, the size there. Okay, so now we just got to play around with the, um, the zoom effect. So we'll open up the camera, and we're going to start this off zoomed in right on the dolphin. So let's say right about there. Okay, then before the shark comes in, we're going to start zooming out. So we're going to grab the camera effect here and do an animation. And we will have the end result 
as large as the entire ad here, not the entire screen. So right about right about here. Okay, so all we'll see at the end is the dolphin in the headline, not above and below it. Okay, so if we just watch how that's going to come in, this will start expanding, and then the shark will come in from the side. Okay, so let's see, see how that looks. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, play around with it. There's lots of different effects you can do with this and have fun.